right, let's see how we play the piano and do it quickly in a few steps. We'll take a song that most people know, it's a jazz standard, Fly Me to the Moon, and all we need is a few bars, so only the, the beginning. All you need to know is where the seven alphabet letters of music are located on your keyboard. You find them with the help of the black keys which are arranged in this uh, triplets and duplets, triplets and duplets. So A is located here. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you come to the similar location, left side of the rightmost black key. So it's again A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then, when you look at uh, the chord markings of this song, which you can see here, Uh, you notice uh, you have these letters and some of the letters have uh, a small M uh, next to the capital letter. We omit that M for, for the time being. And then there's this one funny looking chord DM slash B. Well, the slash means that the uh, key, the note following it, uh, points to the bass note. So in all of the other uh, chords, it's just according to the capital letter, uh, how you play the bass. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. That was Unbelievably simple, wasn't it? Let's do it again a bit faster. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. So, that is the first step. So, what is the next step? The next step is that you add a couple of keys on top of the bass note. Usually it's the first chord that reveals the key, so the scale we are playing in, and in this case it is A minor, and in A minor you have just the white keys and some occasional, uh, exceptional black keys, and in all of the other chords you just need the white keys except the E major chord, which is uh, the second last uh, here. Uh, in, in this text that we have here. So, in, the chord is built so that you take every other key starting from the bass note. So, on the first chord, which is A minor, that's what the little M stands for, minor, it is A, C and E. And it's automatically a minor chord, because we are in A minor, and A minor is played with the white keys. And it's the same with uh, D minor here, and G major, again it's automatically major. So, then we have the E major chord, which is the only exception that it also needs one black key. Because if you play it like this, E, G, B, it is minor, it sounds minor, so a sad chord. So we need to shift the middle tone a little bit. And then it's more bright, then it's a major chord. Otherwise it's all white keys. So let's play the song again in the same way, but instead of just the bass note, we all also play the chord and uh, with that uh, D minor slash B, because D minor would be like this, we just need to change the bass note, the lowest note, like this. 
Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. That was still pretty simple, wasn't it? Now we can move straight to the next step, which is to play the bass and the chord we just learned together, because for now we totally neglected the right hand, and the right hand can now play the chord, and the left hand can play only the bass. And we can do it exactly the same way as before. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. And one thing we can add to this step, because it's a bit boring just to play it like this, we can make some rhythm with two hands, for example. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Something like that. So let's take a look uh, at the chords more closely. In A minor chord, A, C, E are the keys that we play. A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C, E. This is why you can have three different inversions of the same chord, whether it's a major or minor. So, if we start with the A minor chord, which is the first chord in this song, let's take that in the very basic version. But, in order to have the D minor closer, take the D minor D, F, A, so that the A drops down here. So, A minor, D minor. That sounds a lot better than... doesn't it? And it's so much easier to play, because your thumb keeps the position here and you just move the other fingers. And the, the same pattern can be directly applied to the next chord, so G major and C major, because C major is like this, and we just drop the G. And even in the continuation F major D minor, D minor normally like this, but when we take the D here, it's like this. F major, D minor, E major, and A minor. So now, we can make this sound a lot more musical, a lot more natural and flowing with these chord inversions. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. That was pretty simple to understand, but certainly if you've not done that before, you need to prepare and practice a little before you can uh, fluently play it. And let's see how that works with the melody. Continues the same way with F major and D minor with B in the bass. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars.